Hi, this is Derek Rosenfeld, Associate Editor for, for Fire Engineering and the uh, sports columnist for FireLife.com. And today we are back at Overpeck Creek County Park in Ridgefield Park, New Jersey. And this is uh, our summer edition of our uh, ongoing article on kayaking. And we are back here today with Lieutenant John Gargagliano of the Hackensack Fire Department. John, Derek. thanks for coming back Thank you very much. and visiting with us. And uh, today, uh, John is going to tell us a little bit more about uh, kayaking, this time uh, kayaking in warm weather, which I would guess is the ideal time for this activity. Uh, John, why don't you give us a little idea of what you're going to be talking about with today? Yes, Derek, absolutely. Uh, again, thank you for uh, having me once again. Uh, what I'd like to discuss today is our, about our kayak adventuring. Last time we were here, uh, we went over how to paddle. Uh, and a few other techniques on how to stay afloat. Uh, what I want to cover today is if you were to fall into the, the lake or stream that you're kayaking and how to self-rescue yourself and, and get it safely back into the kayak and continue on. Uh, before we do that, uh, you need to plan for your trip. And, and what entitles to you planning your trip uh, or embark on your trip would be having a few things prepared before you go. Uh, for instance, you want to map out where you're going to go. Uh, we chose Overpeck Creek. I know this location well, uh, so I know that there's no hazards. If you go into an unknown location, you want to research if there's any hazards, such as waterfalls, dams, uh, power lines that you can come across, and you don't want to come in contact with any of those. After you research that, you want to let somebody know where you are going, uh, just for that simple reason where if you don't come home, they know where to go get you, just in, in, in that matter. Uh, moving on to the next thing, you want to check on the weather. You know, we have a beautiful day today. Yeah. But you want to look beyond that forecast. Uh, yes, we're going to launch around uh, 2 o'clock this afternoon, but what's going to happen at 4 o'clock, two hours from now, uh, would impact my distance of how far I'm going to go. So you want to look at the weather. Uh, the next thing you're going to look at is your tides. If you're going to participate in a river where it's tidal, uh, you want to launch on a, on a side where the tide's coming in so you don't get caught in a low tide when you come back. Uh, where well, you might launch at that moment becomes mud. So you want to come in on the high side. So you, we took care of weather, we took care of tides, took care of, of looking out for safety issues. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is, before we embark, is what we're going to bring. And, and it's for the simplest matter, I'm, I'm going to discuss a couple things that we're going to bring before you embark. Uh, if we can come over here, sure. uh, what's most important is your personal flotation device. Uh, you should always have this because when you do fall into the water, God forbid something goes on that you hit your head, uh, you have to bail because another boater didn't see you and, or you get struck. This is going to keep you alive and keep you afloat. You need to have this. The next thing is the simple things that people do forget. Bug spray. You might be uh, paddling in areas where there will be a lot of bugs. As you can see, we have reeds in this area and if you chose to go in and out of these reeds, uh, you're going to get lots of bugs. The bug spray helps drastically. We'll take care of that. As you can see, today is a beautiful, hot, sunny, uh, sunny day. A, um, a uh, we call it, lotion, sunscreen, thank you, to uh, put on yourself to protect yourself from the sun's rays. And moving on to that protection of sun rays, having a hat to protect you, to shield your face likewise. A lot of people forget about the sun is bouncing off the water as well. You're going to get hit with UV rays all over the place. Not only from up top, you're going to get it from below. So you get good sunburn if you don't prepare, prepare yourself. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, thank you, John. And uh, John's now going to demonstrate all that he's just talked about. Uh, it's about, I'd say, maybe 80 degrees warmer than uh, the first time we came out here. So uh, I guess we're all a little comfortable. we got some other people here that are enjoying the water and the weather. Uh, so, again, John, thank you again, and uh, go take it away.